Welcome to my channel, Life of Linux Angler. Today, I'm going to show you how do I use Ansible AWS integrates with GitHub to manage server configurations with custom configs across different data centers. As a Linux system administrator, I need to manage server configuration across different regions and with different configuration on different servers. So how do I do that? So let's get into the workflow. So basically, I create the Git repository in GitHub to keep all the standard config. Let's say example, scmarty and scolony.com file that are used to store in to our Git repository. So the system admin we need to update the server's config and push the config to GitHub. And then, Ansible deploy the new config to the server in different ways. You can launch Ansible job template manually to deploy your configuration. Or, you can create the scheduled job in Ansible AWS to deploy the configuration based on the schedule. Or, you can enable webhook between Ansible AWX to kick off to kick off the deployment job template automatically once the change push to kick off. Here is the example. I have two data center, DC01 and DC02. So the VMs inside DC01 we use the NTP server different than the VM that in DC02. Get repository that was created for the standard config. Basically, I create the etc folder and a custom config folder. In the etc folder, I create two files one for martd and another one corny.com.j2 file, which is all the config file I want to deploy to the system. For the corny.com.j2 file, it's a template file that is used to generate the actual corny.com file for corny D on the server. So let's take a look at the martd file first. The SC martd will be really simple. I only have one line here, which is authorized personal only. So basically, this file will be saved across all the servers. So let's take a look at the corny.com.j2 file. So here is the corny.com.j2 file. So let's take a look at the custom config folder. So inside the custom config folder, I create the YAML file called standard configs. So let's take a look at the standard config file. So inside the standard config file, I define the dictionary standard underscore config underscore files, which define all the config files that I need to manage by Ansible. So each config file has its own source, destination, owner, group, and permissions. That's the standard config that we normally manage on our system. And also for some custom config, for the corny.com file, you will have a custom config added to the definition of the SC corny.com file. Here's the example. Let's say I would like to have data center 01 with different NTP server. So I basically put the list of NTP server into the data center 01 and different NTP server to data center 2. So inside the Ansible job template, I will use template module to reference the actual value of the each data center to generate the actual Kali.com file based on the template we created in the ETC folder. playbook get used by deploying the standard config to the server. 
So the workflow of the Ansible Playbook would be, I have two roles that could be, one role, git underscore checkout, which is used to check out the standard config from our GitHub repository. And the second role is config underscore management. That's the role that do the actual deployment for the standard config file that we use that we need. So in the git underscore checkout role, I basically just have Ansible to create the temp folder and then make sure the git package installed on the Ansible server. Then I check out all the standard config from so basically, I define the GitHub info inside the main.yaml file in the was folder in git underscore checkout role. Let's take a look at that. This is the example. Standard config repo, which is pointing to the URL of the standard config that in GitHub. And then that's the version that you want to check out from GitHub. So let's take a look at the config underscore management role. So inside this role, I basically have Ansible to find the standard config.yaml file that we created in our GitHub. And then have Ansible read it as the runtime variable that we can use that when doing the Ansible runtime. So and then once Ansible find this file and read it, and then try to deploy each config file that it defined it inside the standard config.yaml file. So in the GitHub, we define two files that we want to deploy, which are the etc slash mod and etc colony.com file. So basically, I have Ansible do the root control to look, look for each file that you want to deploy into the system. So let's take a look at the config underscore deploy.yaml file. So basically, it looks for the config configuration that you define for each config file in the standard underscore config.yaml file. So let's say, for example, you want to remove some package that if you define it. So if you want to install some package you want to install, then you can define it inside the package underscore install for each config file. And then Ansible deploy the config file using the template module and look up the information that you define inside the standard underscore config.yaml file, which including the source, the destination, the owner, the group, and permission. And then once the config file was changed, then you restart the services. That's the basic workflow that I created for standard config management on the Linux system. So let's get into the demo. So let's say, for example, I would like to change the NTP server for data center 01 and data center 02. So I am going to change the config to Now I'm going to change the data center 02 to different NTP server.
So let's push the change to our GitHub repository. Then the change has pushed to our Git repository for the standard config. So let's log into uh, Ansible AWX. So previously, I have uh, installed Ansible AWX on the virtual machine. So let's log in. And then inside the previous I have created all the prerequisites like inventories and templates. So let's take a look at the inventory. So inside my inventory, I have two groups that are created DZ01, DZ02. And each data center, I have a host associated to that data center. Let's say, for example, so this is the server that associated data center 01. And this is the server that associate data center O2. So I already created Ansible job template configuration management. Let's kick off the Ansible job template. So now you see Ansible has been deployed a configuration to the system with the template and also the custom config inside the standard config.yaml file. Please, here you can see that Ansible deployed it with the new config. That's the new NTP server we use for the DC01. And then that's the server that used for DZ02. So here is the example that I use Ansible AWS to integrate with GitHub to manage the standard config file on our Linux system. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much.